What's up, everybody? Nostalgia Goggles 4-3 here. Thanks so much for tuning in tonight. Uh, we've got uh, what looks to be a very exciting game. Uh, this is the first time this season we faced the Orlando Magic, who uh, could have been a dynasty, maybe should have been a dynasty. I don't know. They were great this year. Anyway, but maybe not as great as us. Here we go. All the great uh, EA Canada folks worked on the game. Penny Hardaway. That's right, J.M. Fizo. Good evening. Glad you can make it out. It's been a while, good sir. How are you? Magic can see second place in the Atlantic Division. They uh, finished only a game and a half back. They finished first in real life. And I won't go through all the league leaderboard, but uh, Shaquille O'Neal is the scoring champion of non-Raptors. Uh, you can see uh, there's quite a bit of daylight between Dale Ellis and the field at this point, but when you score 106 points in a game, that will do it. So Ellis is definitely starting tonight, but we're going to go with a somewhat different lineup. Uh, not very different, I guess. We're just going to start Oliver Miller instead of a zero. Wherever he is, there we go. Uh, yeah, Ruffin, Ellis, Simmons, Rogers, Miller. Perfect. Just about ready to go. Uh, before we get started, I uh, just want to remind everyone that 10% uh, of any proceeds from tonight's stream uh, go to the Retina Foundation of the Southwest. Uh, they do a lot of great research uh, trying to uh, prevent blindness. Let's do this. What's up, Spitz the Great? If you'd like to support them directly, uh, Retina Foundation, uh, there is a link in my Twitch profile. There's also one in the YouTube description if that's what you're watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, greetings, uh, greetings to you in the future. I hope it's nice there. I hope it's warmer than today. Definitely took me an hour and a half to get home from work today. Uh, normally, uh, less than half an hour. So it was, uh, it was a rough one out there. Um, cold in Canada too. I, uh, it came to my attention that uh, Winnipeg was uh, colder today than either pole. Uh, Slightly colder than Antarctica. So if we're in Winnipeg, stay warm. And now, wait, wait, here it comes. The greatest eyewear in the NBA. Number 54, Horace Grant. Look at that. Look at those goggles. It's a thing of beauty. Brings a tear to my eye. For Shaquille O'Neal. This starting lineup is just wild. I mean, Dennis Scott, it's... Uh, Great three-point shooter. I uh, love the league and three-pointers made uh, this season. Um, really played more like a modern player, I think, if I remember correctly, than a lot of people at the time, even a lot of three-point shooters. Of course, Penny Hardaway, as J.M. Pizzo brought up, all-star point guard. Horace Grant, this is his fourth consecutive year on the all-defensive team, and Shaquille O'Neal probably needs no introduction. And Dallas has got it. We'll just let him shoot. There we go. Let's get off to a start. As we have to do um, for every game, we do have to remind everyone to play defense. You know, they're professional basketball players. I would think they would remember to play defense in games. What do I know? And because it's a Super Nintendo, uh, they don't remember. They remember I was player locked, but they don't remember on which position. So they just started me out player locked on somebody else. Who am I even on? Carlos Rogers. Well, could have done worse. There we go. So I'm a little concerned about this game. Uh, Magic, as I said, we're a 60-win team. Uh, we lost to the 64-win Seattle Sonics. That was our, our one loss you see over there on the right side of your screen. Whoa, home crowd. Not happy about that. All right, Miller, come on. High percentage shot, hopefully. Well, I say that and sometimes it is not high percentage shot. Penny's gonna do that to us all night. 
That's what the point guards do in this game. Ugh. Shaq with the board. Kicks it out to Penny. It's amazing to think about what uh, what this team could have been if they'd stayed together. So Magic uh, trip to the NBA Finals in 95. Um, lost to the uh, Bulls in the Eastern Conference Finals uh, in 96. And that was when uh, Shaq uh, departed for uh, Los Angeles. But if they'd stayed together, if Penny could have stayed healthy. Shaq even had Horace Grant out there for one of the titles in L.A. There we go. wonder who they're going to give that block to. There we go. Well, we're off to a good start, at any rate. Ooh. Letting Nick Anderson set up in the corner uncontested is probably not a thing I should have done. Come on, Carlos. Get that back. Nice! Oliver Miller. Yeah, you celebrate, Miller. Ugh. Now, there's something that wouldn't have happened in real life. Shaq passing out of the post because Dale Ellis is in the way. Oof! It isn't like it worked out badly for Shaq in L.A. No, I wasn't thinking of Shaq. I was thinking of uh, the city of Orlando. There we go, Ruffin. Take that in. Oh! Oh, dear. All right. Oh, no. You're not Trevor Ruffin. Oh! That's not very nice, Nick Anderson. Not very nice at all. How much time is left? Now nah, we won't suck yet. Ugh, that's not going in. I got three shots for that? That doesn't seem right. Maybe the game just felt bad for me. Clearly, this guy has no idea how to shoot free throw. We'll give him one more. One more try. And physical game tonight. Oof. Nick Anderson not connecting that time. Free throws are the worst. They are a challenge. It's probably because they don't let me shoot them underhanded. Uh, physics says that Rick Barry is correct, and the uh, correct way to shoot a free throw is underhanded. Uh, I saw a quote from Shaq about that, possibly apocryphal, um, but it sounds like something he'd say that uh, he'd have to shoot negative free throw percentage before he'd consider shooting underhand. Whoa! That was nice. Who was that? Is that Nick Anderson again? Thank you. That's great. The official uh, airball emoji of Nostalgia Goggles for three. How are you feeling, Spitz the Great? Better than yesterday? 24-hour thing? <laughs> What's up, Dormunder? Not in my house. You're better, good. Glad to hear. Not 100%. Would you say like 86.2%? Roughly? All right. You all can enjoy these beats. King. Ed Pinkney. 
fan favorite, Ed Pinkney. Canada's favorite son. Not that he's Canadian. Honorary Canadian, Ed Pinkney. Oh, that was a bad decision, but that worked out way better for me than it should have. Jimmy King throwing it down. Second round draft pick for your Toronto Raptors. Here we go, Eric Murdoch. Nicely done. Adopted Canadian. I forget who it was. There was someone recently who um, had been trying to get Canadian citizenship and was going to play on the uh, Canadian Olympic team, and there was uh, some kind of uh, some some kind of red tape or something, and it didn't happen. Hey, you guys know that story? Remember that? Oh, there we go, Pinkney. For three. Yes. For two, I guess. Joe Wolf. Where are they keeping Shaq? You think he'd be hard to misplace? Big dude. No what, Spitz? Whoa, Penny. Wow. Oof. All right, Dale. It's cool a little bit for the threes. Oof. Not good. Well, that timeout seems to have worked for them. Oh, question about the Olympian. Yeah, I was uh, realized after I started telling it that's uh, without any of the pertinent details. That's uh, not that interesting of a story. Should have come prepared. Oh, Pinky with the assist. Beautiful. Oh. Was not expecting uh, Nick Anderson to be the uh, pain of my existence tonight. A great player, but... I mean, you got three all stars in the starting lineup. Buzzer. Nope. A lot of layups in this video game. Indeed. What do you think this is? Maybe they should make a, a game with more dunks. They could call it NBA Jam. Should trademark that. What am I drinking? Uh, tonight, it is a 1911 uh, raspberry hard cider. Cheers. Sure. Be tuned for good fundamentals. But well, we uh, we aim to please here at uh, Nostalgia Goggles for three. But, uh... Damon Stoudemire in, get the year. Chris Murray, Al Simmons, Pinkney can stay, and we'll let uh, Rogers take a break. Put Big O back in. If uh, this ends up being a blowout, which is looking more likely than I expected going in tonight, I want to try to experiment with uh, playing Oliver Miller at power forward. Uh, 
Carlos Rogers has been so effective at center. Uh, the problem is that leave that would leave us with three centers and two power forwards, but one of those power forwards is Tony Masson. So I would much rather have a third power forward than a third center. And uh, Miller did play power forward for some of his career, and most of our players at this point have had success playing in a position other than their listed one. So seems like a good possibility. Stoudemire. Wow. That was a pass and a half. Both teams having a strong performance from the field tonight. Are you sure? Sure it's too early to talk about blowout? My usual threshold is about a 20 point lead. Because even our bad lineups, I tend to do something about it uh, by the time they're negative 10. And that way we could have a bad time and still be up by double digits. So it's somewhat arbitrary. So I'm at least going to let Murray finish his fire here. So Tracy Murray's had a string of quiet games. It looks like he has got something to prove tonight. Pinkney! Throws a pass directly out of balance. Horace Grant must have been the goggles. Solid vision there. Court vision. Right. I think that might be his first miss. All right, Miller, take that in. Nicely done. I don't think this game understands how much bigger than everyone Shaq is. I think if it did, they'd be playing differently. Are you still recording the PM? I haven't seen a post about it, but I could have missed it. Yeah, I haven't. Um, I didn't get around to tweeting um, the most recent ones due to aforementioned snowstorm. Uh, but yeah, we, we're up to date. And I also uh, gave you guys uh, a, uh, a link to the uh, spreadsheet where I'm tracking all of it. Whoa! Oh, Shaq! Steals it right back. Still too early to talk about a blowout? Alright. Then we won't talk about it. We'll just do it. Get it done. Anthony Bowie. Get that. Yeah, so the uh, Pacers game, um, the real story of that one was that the uh, Murdoch lineups both were the only two lineups that had double-digit PM. Uh, many of our lineups actually had negative overall. Need to get through the half. Are you guys watching the same game I am? We're up by 23. It's time. It's time to experiment. We'll try Stoudemire Ellis. Jimmy King. And put uh, ACRL in. He hasn't played yet. And I'll remind you. Is How You Remind Me by Nickelback actually a good song? Oof, you're getting deep. The big questions for tonight. I would say it's definitely a good song by, uh, whoa, what just happened? It's definitely a good, it got me thinking about Nickelback and I'm not thinking about basketball. Um, it's definitely a good song by uh, Nickelback, which is intended to be faint praise. 
Uh, Nickelback has no bad songs. Don't make me moderate you. No, they're Canadian too, aren't they? Does that mean I'm obligated to like Nickelback? I don't know, it's not a bad song. I actually did not dislike Nickelback, uh, Silver Side Up, when that came out. Um, I would say I do dislike their later things. Photograph. So here's, here's the thing about Photograph. Like, it's supposed to be like this, you know, nostalgic, like, uh, sweet song, right? And I mean, you know, I'm nostalgic goggles for three. So I'm all about them threes. I'm all about the nostalgia. So, you know, it seems like it should be right up my alley, right? But he's not like, he just sounds angry when he's singing it. He's just yelling at you. Look at this photograph. Every time I do, it makes me laugh. Like, it just, it doesn't sound like he's capable of laughing. I don't understand. Might not have been a good fit for their style of music. Man. Well, if this sample size has taught me anything, it's that playing Oliver Miller at power forward means that the opposing team cannot throw a pass. Or catch a pass. Shaquille O'Neal. a great review of critique thank you maybe we should do more uh music reviews on this stream with us basketball stonemeyer for three uh yeah so december 17th 1995 uh number one song on the charts uh one sweet day mariah carey and boys to men and i've got to be honest with you guys i love that song like unironically like I loved it when I was 10, and I love it still today. I got a soft spot for Mariah Carey. I've also got a soft spot for early boys to men. And that song just gets me in the feels. Okay, it's a blowout. So we're talking about blowouts now? I thought we were talking about Mariah Carey. Oof. There we go, AC Earl. Take that in. Back down, John Conkak. Nope. Outlet to Penny. Penny Hardaway, I found out when I started this project, his uh, Twitter handle is uh, I am one cent, which is one of my favorite Twitter handles. Grant. Grant again. Damon. Oof, that was ugly. There you go, Damon. All the way in. There you go. Nicely done. Damon Stoudemire. 178 centimeters tall. With the soft touch. It's half time. We're up 30. On track for a 150 point game. Dale Ellis only has 40 points at the half. Slow night for him. Yeah, Nick Anderson, 20 already. Go figure, usually it's the point cards. And they're out shooting us from three. Weird. 
14 steals on our end, though. Tonight's trivia, whose name was legally changed from Chris Jackson? I actually do know this. I'll give the chat a minute to guess while I uh, run through my halftime stuff. Um, first of all, and most importantly, uh, these guys are the ones doing the important work. 10% uh, of anything I make tonight is going to go to support them. The Retina Foundation of the Southwest. Um, they're envisioning a world without goggles, working to find a cure for macular degeneration and other such uh, horrible eye diseases like that. So uh, if you'd like to support them directly, there's also a link in my Twitch profile um, or in the YouTube description here on YouTube. And thank you, thank you, thank you to our patrons. I think actually all three of them are in the chat tonight, uh, which is the first time, might be the first time that's happened. Uh, all at the same time. Tim Troy, humanitarian philanthropist, Spitz the Great, and Dr. Ambassador Dortmunder. Thank you, sirs. All right, any guesses? Whose name legally changed from Chris Jackson? Mahmoud Abdul Raouf. That's not a guess, that's a statement. I remember him well player for the Denver Nuggets. Uh, what was I doing? Right. We're going to try more Miller power forward lineups. So, Ruffin, Ellis, Simmons, and Rogers. Correct trivia answer is 50 cents. All right, Jan Pizzo, we'll see how that works out for you. I have decided if it's a numerical one and I don't know the answer, I'm just going to go with three because there have been two games so far that I was not sure and the answer turned out to be three, and that does seem to be the theme of the channel. Oh, 50 cents. Sorry, I, uh, I read that wrong. There must be a smudge on my goggles. How old would 50 Cent have been in 95? 13? 15? There we go. Miller? Take that in all the way. Or just stop and take a mid range too, which we don't like to do. But if it goes in, it goes in. No, Nick Anderson, you may not drive this time. Oh! Shaq, you just can't stop him. Fortunately, he's been stopping himself. Nope. Ha. Not sure exactly what happened there. Trevor Ruffin, double teamed by Shaq and Penny. Let's just see what happens. Let's see what he does. Guess we'll never know. Ah, uh, it's on the line. Darn. Well, if we lose by two now, we'll know why. That one and uh, Pinkney's long two from earlier. Oh, Shaq, where are you at? Anyone else uh, fans of uh, Shaquille O'Neal's uh, debut album, Shaq Diesel? Expecting more Muggsy Bogues at this point in the season. Well, trade deadline's uh, not till next month. And uh, no one has uh, posted in the, uh, in the patron uh, discussion that they want him. When is this going to become a Shaq Fu stream? Uh, I don't know, maybe uh, maybe next week? Probably after Christmas. I do have a list of potential games to stream, and Shaq Fu is on it. 
More Kazam references are needed. Rapping genies. Oh, this, uh, I have not seen, uh, Kazam since high school, but I may need to rewatch it before the next time we play the magic now. Shaq has been in five movies where he was playing a character who was not named Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, so there's Blue Chips, um, with Nick Nolte. Uh, there's Kazam, Steel, uh, Good Burger. No, actually, sorry, he was playing himself in Good Burger. Uh, Chairman of the Board, the Carrot Top movie. Uh, and there was one other one which might also have had, uh, Carrot Top in it. Oh, no, I'm sorry, it was, uh, The Wash with, uh, Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. You gotta, you gotta join another tier to request a game. Good point. Jack was in chairman of the board. I believe so. Maybe I, that could be fake news. You could IMDb it for me if you want. I've never seen a chairman of the board. It was definitely a carrot top movie, and I think it was chairman of the board. But I'm not paying attention to the game. We could be losing at this point. No. And you are correct, Spitz. We do have another tier for uh, game requests, specifically. I'm just sharing information. Uh, Shaq Fu was already on my list, which kind of makes sense. It's another EA game, Super Nintendo from this era. Uh, basketball adjacent. Being of chairman of the board, have we seen the Norm Macdonald review on Conan? Yes, we have. I think I feel comfortable speaking for all of us. Jack is very in chairman of the board. All right, good memory on my part. But anyway, I was thinking it was funny that there were exactly five movies. Uh, it would be like the, uh, the most painful movie marathon I've ever done. Penny also in Blue Chips. Yeah, that's actually... Um, how they ended up uh, playing together. Um, the Penny, as you may recall, was uh, traded for uh, Chris Webber. Uh, the Magic got the number one pick two years in a row in the draft, and they took Chris Webber first overall. Um, but there was something, I don't remember all the ins and outs of it, but they didn't want to keep Chris Webber. He didn't want to stay or something like that. They were concerned about the Twin Towers approach. And the way that... Uh, Penny got himself on the team, and in large part was by impressing Shaq when they were filming Blue Chip. So they uh, traded him for Penny, and the rest was history. Wow. The score is insane. Dortmunder has not seen the Norm interview. You should watch that. Right when this stream is done. Oh, Dale, stop! No! <laughs> what are you doing? You gotta get it in the basket. Oh, no, no! Well, that's nice. Trevor Ruffin, that's not going to fall. There we go. Carlos Rogers, get that in. What was that? Shaquille O'Neal stuffed by Trevor Ruffin. Probably the first time that sentence has been uttered in human history. I think that is an air ball. Oh, Shaq says, no, thank you. I would prefer you did not shoot that shot. 
as this is Canada, we want to be uh, gracious hosts. There we go, L train. There we go. With the soft touch. You're right, Dortmunder. We haven't been dunking as much in this game as I expected. Yeah. One of the uh, nice surprises of this team is that uh, Lionel Simmons has been uh, turned out to be quite the dunker, but not on that. Oh. When do you start playing nostalgic albums in the background while playing basketball and giving reviews at the same time? Uh, the moment that the Digital Millennium Copyright Act allows me to do that without Twitch using robots to silence my stream, unfortunately. I actually would genuinely love to do that. That sounds like a really fun time. <laughs> oh, goodness. Then the corner is over. How'd they get that shot off? Dang. Steph Curry over there. All right. Let's talk about blowouts. Mahmoud Abdul Raouf. Elegant and praiseworthy. Most merciful, most kind. Cool. Too early to talk about blowouts. All right. Well, I, I won't uh, won't bring it up anymore. You were close, Jam Pisa. Excellent work. All right, we're gonna put some other folk in. Sorry, Ms. Jackson. I see what you did there. What's the best Outcast song? I'm gonna go with uh, "So Fresh, So Clean." I don't know. I don't have a. I don't have a good reason off the top of my head. When I'm done substituting, I might be able to come up with one. Body to Policious. All right. I can go with that. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put it at Pickney and Tony Massenberg. Let them duke it out. I like Bombs Over Baghdad, too. I don't know, Dortmunder, what's greatest? Anybody lurking? What do you think? There you go, Pinkney. Take that in. Or take a three. <laughs> nope. Partial to uh, Roses. Uh, Roses is actually, I think, maybe my favorite Kanye West song. Question is, what is the uh, what what is the best Outcast song? Massenberg. You know what? You want to take a three? You got that rebound. You take that three. So this is something you uh, you all may not know. Uh, Spitz the Greatest, of course, has been a big booster of uh, Ed Pinkney for the course of the season. But uh, J.M. Pizzo, uh, major uh, Tony Massenberg supporter. Horace, no. I think your goggles got turned around there. I think we did. Yeah. Nope. You all just saw that, right? Like, Horace Grant just backed over the midcourt line like he just didn't want to have the ball anymore. 
Tony. They've got to make one eventually, right? Massenberger Pinkney. I mean, that's, why else would they keep setting up by the perimeter? Sign. All right, take them then. Back them down. <laughs> there you go, Jimmy King. See, guys, that's how you go to the basket. Like, you go down in that painted area, and then you shoot. There you go, Tony. Yeah, sort of like that. Is that no, no, no. All right, Massenberg again. You just back Shaquille O'Neal down, and then you score a basket. That's all there is to it. Since Pinkney's big 50-point game, he has been ice cold. That is true. Offensive foul. Jimmy King. Off the ball. I, don't know, I have been saving these buckets that you all have purchased me for moments like this. So here we go, Ed Pinkney. Take that... <laughs> Why did you know? Pink Nick. Oh, boy. Pink there you go. All right, Tony. Hook shot. <laughs> I got to make sure I'm even going to make three more shots before the game ends. Bench him. Which one? Oh! Man. Anthony Bowie does not want him. Does not want any of that. Bench both of them. All right. They get to dunk. I'm glad that uh, Shaq hasn't been dunking on that basket uh, too much, the one on that side. Because <laughs> I'm uh, not actually certain what is holding this basket in the air, like if you look at it here. So I don't know that it could actually survive uh, Shaq dunking on it. Woo! All right, that one's for you. Dortmunder, Dr. Ambassador Dortmunder, patron at our buy a bucket tier. He uh, bought me that bucket. It's holding out for a dunk for you, but I'll give you a three instead, or you'll give me a three. Thank you. You did earn both titles. That's Dortmunder, actual doctor, actual ambassador, possibly an actual Dortmunder. I'm not sure. I've never seen a Dortmunder in real life. It is hard to say. How much time is left? Not a lot. Need to get you other two gentlemen some buckets. There you go. That's your Spitz the Greatest. Also a patron at our Buy a Bucket tier. Hold not for Ed Pinkney. Ed Pinkney does not wish to cooperate this game. And last but not least, our first patron, Tim Troy, humanitarian, philanthropist, supporter at our Buy a Bucket Pier.
He earned both titles. Yes, your secret's out. Tim Troy is a nom de plume. But, if any of you out there are on the fence about becoming patrons, what if he uses my real name? What if he uses my, um, my real username? Fear not. You can select, well, now that's unselfish right there. Solid unselfish play. Too late. Unselfish. There you go, Massenberg. This is your time. Hey, Tony Massenberg. Charging? Oh. Did I just block Murdoch shot? Is that what just happened there? Pinkney, no! So in case you don't know, the shot that makes the AI shoot is the same button that makes my player jump. So I had actually kind of wondered if that would be possible, and it appears the answer is yes. All right, Pinkney, take it in. For three. Nope. Ain't nobody dope as me. I'm dressed so fresh, so clean. Don't you think I shoot some threes? I'm dressed so fresh, so clean. Outcast does seem like a solid background. So there you have it. Despite um, putzing around for the entirety of the fourth quarter, we win by 44. That is not an outcome I expected. Dale Ellis, 68 points, five rebounds, five assists. If you add his rebounds and assists together, that's a double double. Good game, thank you. Fourth is killed. It's still not bad. I don't think it was as bad as it seemed. It's just the possessions that were uh, successful tended to be shorter for the end there. So, Murray had 29 points in a lot fewer minutes than Ellis. They're the only two in double figures tonight. <clears throat> Ed Pingo, he did make one. When did he make one? Must have been early. Murdoch had a rough shooting game. And Ruffin, especially. Go figure. Jimmy King leading us in offensive rebounds. Dale Ellis leading in defensive rebounds. Our point guard's doing block shots. Only one for Stoudemire. He's not going to stay on the leaderboard if he's only blocking one shot per game. Rough and six steals. Five assists for Ellis. Still have not quite cracked how this game counts assists. It's just kind of arbitrary. Nick Anderson, 25. Penny did still. 22. Shaq seemed quiet, but he still got 14 for him. Uh, 78%. As far as Outcast albums, I do uh, enjoy just putting on uh, AT Aliens. Like, I wouldn't say that any of the tracks from that are necessarily my favorite overall, but, um, I don't know, it just seems, like, more chill to me than some of their other stuff. Something I can just put on and relax. Not so bad. 
Carlos Rogers, at least they were all in front of the backboard tonight. Oliver Miller, proving that he is a more than capable power forward. Rough and cold tonight. Murdoch tonight. Tracy Murray did well. Massenberg, Pinkney. They certainly played too. We came back on Stoudemire. And a good game in limited usage. ACRL continues to not shoot the ball. There you have it. We'll give that a save. Quick look at the standings. So uh, we are still top of the central. Chicago six and a half games back. Orlando now two and a half games behind New York. Um, yes, yeah, so I guess this is the whole Western Conference. So, you know, we've played most of those teams. The Grizzlies also above 500. Grizzly. Pinkney does indeed have a bunch of shots. And the Knicks, one of the uh, few teams we have not played yet, um, have the closest record to us. No, sir, no excuses for Pinkney at all. Quick look at the league leaderboard. Dale Ellis averaging 44 points a game, uh, 25 games into the season. Uh, pretty sure they could just have the MVP voting today. So Dale Ellis, there in, yeah, Pinkney is still fourth in the league for field goal percentage somehow. I'm not quite sure I believe these numbers, but you know, they're there. Um, and Dale Ellis, you can see on there, despite taking significantly more shots in this league. Pinkney also number one in the league for free throw percentage. And Eric Murdoch, all of those were for when his time in Milwaukee before he came to us. Trevor Ruffin, despite the two misses tonight, still uh, moving up the leaderboard in three point percentage. Healthy number of attempts, especially since I'm not player locked on him. I don't expect to see us on the rebounding charts. Which is good, because I would have been disappointed. Damon Stoudemire still holding on. Uh, been passed by Shaq, Zoe. Still way behind Dikembe. Uh, steals. You two be nice. Uh, Alice. I feel good about that, because that's me. Assists. I'd love to crack that leaderboard. If I only knew uh, how they credited it in order to do that. At any rate, thank you all for joining me. Thanks for enjoying your Outcast tune separately so that I can continue to have audio on my stream. And on Monday night, it's Christmas week, so we are going to play two games. Uh, we'll be playing um, both the Pistons, followed immediately by our rematch against the Chicago Bulls. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all have an excellent evening.